Zebra Herd, welcome back to Mario Kart Wii. Today, we are heading right back into mirror mode that we started last time around with Diddy Kong. But this time around, we'll be playing as a different character. Of course, the difficulty has stepped up immensely with this extra set of cups. And I'm a little bit worried about what we'll run into, but we'll be running all into it, of course, with a new character. This time around, I wanted to try it right over here, Baby Daisy. All right, so our third baby character after Baby Mario and Baby Peach, we have Baby Daisy. We have a lot of carts to choose from, but we're gonna start with the standard cart S and move on from there. So we got the manual drifting here, seems like a good choice. And then of course, right over here, the Star Cup, which has Daisy Circuit, Koopa Cape, Maple Treeway, and Grumble Volcano. So our first one is Daisy Circuit. Pretty good track to start things off with, to be honest with you, because I think we can handle it. It's a, it's a pretty tough one at times, but a lot of turns that we can get some good drifts through and stuff like that, and we should be able to make it through. It is, of course, flipped, so I gotta get used to that. So it makes it, sometimes on a track like this, it makes it feel like I'm going on it backwards, but not quite. Just because this one is sort of a bunch of one direction turns. It's like a lot of left turns now, but before it was a lot of right turns. Okay, we'll throw one more red shell just like that. It just goes straight into the wall. But now we get triple mushroom. Oh, uh, and I go right into a banana. There's just so many items. The frequency of items has jumped up significantly with mirror mode. Which I didn't think there'd be much of a difficulty change between uh, 150 and mirror, but it really feels like so far there certainly is. But. I'll just try to race as good of a race as I can, you know? Get out here and make some drifts, whoa! And whatever happens, happens, right? Okay. Drift through here. The figure eight part is always a little bit stressful, you don't know who or what you'll run into. You can get through here pretty darn well. Got it, got it, got it! And then, just a little drift there as we get into this turn because I'm sort of building up a bit of a lead as we are getting to the end of the second lap and into the final one. Plenty of items, I'm sure, are heading my way. Come on, got the red drift right there. Final lap. Hold out that banana. Come on, we got this. Every second counts. Every moment that we can be a little bit farther ahead of the competition could be the difference between winning or losing. Yeah, <laughs> okay, and I immediately do that. Okay, okay. Oh no, oh no you don't, leave me alone. Leave me alone. D -d no you don't, stop! Where are you? <laughs> okay, we all get zapped anyways. That was actually really fortunate. But, I need to mushroom boost here, get in front of you, go around this corner and just drift. Come on, we're almost there, I think we're gonna get the win. You! It was really so lucky that we were able to get lightning struck at the same time that everyone else did anyways. But there we go, 15 points with Baby Daisy. Let's move to the next one. Right over here. Okay, I forgot to press the A button. There we go. Now, Koopa Cape is gonna be an interesting one. I feel like I might end up taking the long, wrong turn here a couple of times, because especially in the current, this mo track moves really fast. So there is a little bit of muscle memory relied on with this one. All right, here we go. And we're off. So, my goal right now is just to not get too carried away with all the different items. If I could just focus on my own race here, get ahead wherever I have the opportunity to, I think we'll be fine. I got a green shell. I can hit, no, I can hit myself with it. All right, I was gonna hit Rosalina with it, but never mind. <laughs> and I guess that's the kind of stuff I shouldn't be getting carried away with. I do think, yeah, I can grab that right there, hold out the banana. Ooh, ooh, come on. No, I just barely hit the ground there. Slowed me down a little bit, but we get the blooper. Okay, I might hold on to that for a second. And now I'm speeding past everybody. What will happen if I use a blooper in first place? Or to find out, I don't think it'll hit anybody. Because bloopers only affect the people in front of you, I'm pretty sure. Okay, not good. Uh, gonna get hit with the red shell. That's fine. Yeah, I don't think anybody's bloopered. 
Except for now, I was bloopered by somebody else. Oh no, this is a little scary. I make it through though, I'm holding down a banana. So we'll jump through there. Dodging the Goombas as much as possible. Here we go, here's our chance. No, come on! Don't get anything out of that, then out of the way, Bowser. Big jump up this way. I think I'm just gonna keep with the current here. Go. Oh no. Try to get back onto the water. Gotta watch out for that Koopa shell. I'm not gonna get hit by that again. All right, we're still in the lead as we go into the underwater tubes. But Dry Bones looking to change that. See, so wait, buddy, I'm catching up to you. We got the slipstream boost. Nice. Got a big left turn here. Really happy that there was a sign there to warn me. I probably would have went the wrong way. Okay, for the last lap here, we're starting the lead, but they are so close behind me. We all get zapped. Okay, you just had the cut in front of me. Like, that was just rude. <laughs> the racers just get a lot more mean. Sure, they get better in skill too, but I feel like they're just brutal. Oh no, okay, that's not gonna hit me though, so that's very beneficial. I need an item though, for sure. So if I could just, boom, get that. I know a lot of players will cut in front of me while that's happening, but honestly, I don't mind it too much because I get a better item out of it. Okay, I'm able to hit Peach with that one. The triple banana is such a nice thing to have. We're going back into the tubes. Good drift. Try to get another one here, just like that. Awesome, watch out for the electrical. Uh, no. Not good, really not good. Come on. I don't know how much of a chance I actually, what even hit me there, what? I didn't even see what that was, but it looks like because of that, ooh, I'm able to get second. Very lucky green shell helps me catch up. I'll take a second place, that's not so bad. As long as the next two races can turn out okay, we can beat out Princess Peach and get a win still, but we'll have to wait and see in this next race. Maple Treeway is not gonna be an easy one. You never know, we might be able to get through it. A lot can happen on a track like this, either good or bad. I really have a lot of pressure to turn this one into a win though. So let's give it a shot. All right, drifting through all of this. Got it, and off we go. Oh my, Ooh, was able to dodge Princess Peach's banana there, and that's good. I'll hold out. This green shell don't fall off the side. Oh no, not that. <laughs> Trying to see if I can't get a mushroom out of one of these, but. No, okay. That was close. Too close for comfort. I'm in Bowser in the middle of the air. Didn't even mean to. Whoa, watch it. Able to hit Princess Peach with that one, right? No, she had an item. That's tough. Okay, able to get that. I need to do a couple of jumps here for sure. I didn't really mean to use that mushroom there. Sort of a shame, because I could have used that on a really good uh, shortcut up here. But it's okay. No shortcut from me, not the end of the world. I got a red shell again, but I can only guess that Princess Peach has an item. So I'm just gonna hold it out behind me for now until I can confirm that. Okay, I'll throw it out there. What, <laughs> come on, the red shell tracking is so weird in this game. I don't know why so many times it'll just hit a wall. Okay, getting juggled by the Wigglers, I hit Bowser. Oh, and Princess Peach gets hit by another green shell, leaving us to be able to take the lead. I get one more item right there, and I will use that, ooh, okay. Not really what I wanted to do, but I got a mushroom out of it. So if I can just get another item before I get smacked by something. Come on, what do I get? Green shell's perfect. Okay, we're getting there. Trying to keep an eye on what's going on behind me, but it seems like Peach got hit by another red shell. Ooh, big boost right there into the cannon. We have two green shells. Lots of possibilities. 
for things to go wrong here like that. I see another mushroom, boom. That helped me catch up a little bit. Uh, but not if that happens, okay. Ooh. We got it, we got it, we got it. I'm just going through here then. Come on. Oh man, oh I hit the sign. I guess it's better than falling off, but still, neither are preferable. <laughs> what do I want to do here? I don't want to get hit by a banana. That is for sure, I'm throwing a green shell back just to maybe heighten my chances of hitting somebody. And I gotta get through this part. Jumping through that, got it, here we go. Final stretch right there, boom. Two wins and one second place finish is what we're sacking up so far. So we're taking the lead in front of Princess Peach. The next race is gonna be so, so important if we wanna get that star finish. So let's keep going. It's Grumble Volcano. Oh man, with the reversed question blocks. <laughs> Pretty cool. All right, how do we wanna do this one then? I mean, I guess just the same thing I always do, race as much as I can to the finish line. Got it. Good start there for sure. Need to grab an item to the side because I feel like I'll just get pushed off if I try for any of the others. Okay, whoa. Not so good, but uh, I just barely missed that item. Ooh, I got Bowser there somehow. I'm gonna throw that one backwards and I do hit somebody, but not without a cost of running into a wall like 30 times. Getting over here, I will mushroom boost over to these items if I can, awesome. I'll get the drift in. I get another mushroom here, so I might as well use it just like that. I was trying to get to the jump sooner, darn. If I could've, maybe could've avoided the pal block. I got a banana now. And the blooper shouldn't be too big of a deal for me. Don't have to worry about everything falling apart just yet. We're in second place. Ah, there go my items. Drifting through. Uh, I jump over the item because of the slipstream boost that I got being behind Peach. Hmm. Good to keep that in mind, I guess, but oh no, not good. Okay, well there's nobody around me right now to give this to, so I'm just gonna use the speed boost it gives me to like maybe be able to get a lead. I'm not sure if that really helped all too much. I mean, I'm still in the lead right now. Gonna get hit by a pal block with everybody else. It didn't really affect Bowser. Whoa. Okay. Bowser's not too far ahead of us though. If we can just keep moving. Got it. We get a big drift going on here. Bob bomb is definitely an interesting item to get. I'm going to toss it, try, at least attempt to toss it in front of him. I don't think I got him and it messed up my drift trying to focus on that a little bit too much. So that's not so good. I hear somebody with a thundercloud again. Not good. Whoa. I'm going down here because I want another item. More than just a banana peel would be great. I get another banana peel. <laughs> All right, well then we're peeling out of here. Ah, uh, wait, wait, I'm gonna get a good drift. Just like that, I'm still in the lead. I hold this banana out. Come on, come on, I think I got it. Boom, we get another victory, I can't believe it. All right. So with that, we're stacking up even more points and we are definitely in the winning zone here. So I think that might be enough for our star ranking. We're about to find out. But first, of course, we have a little victory celebration. Regardless if we got the star ranking or not, we still won and that's worth, you know, enjoying, making the most out of Princess Peach and Bowser. Really racing through this one like crazy, but not quite enough to beat us in points, huh? We only fell to second place once. Everything else was the first place finish. So that's pretty darn good. And with it, Baby Daisy is super happy. All right, let's check out that podium, shall we? Baby Daisy on the very top, Peach in second, and Bowser in third. And our golden trophy, 
followed by a star ranking maybe? Yes, okay, there we go. A star ranking for our first Mirror Cup today, but we got more, because congratulations, you can now play the Mirror Special Cup. I will definitely take that. And we're not quite done, you won the Star Cup in Mirror Mode. Congratulations, you've unlocked a medium bike, the Dolphin Dasher. That's a cool one. So, with all of that checked out, I'm pretty happy. We still have one more cup left to go, and if it's anything like the, you know, the previous attempt with Diddy Kong, this one might be the more difficult one. We'll have to wait and see. We're going back into mirror mode with Baby Daisy. We'll choose a different cart this time. I've yet to try the Mini Beast, and it seems really cool, so I wanna go for that one this time. The Mini Beast with the manual, drifting, and the special cup with Dry Dry Ruins, Moonview Highway, Bowser's Castle, and Rainbow Road. All right, Dry Dry Runes is our first one. I've had to re-race this cup several times in different difficulties, so I hope that at least gives me some kind of advantage in terms of just familiarity with these tracks now. Oh, this one, the engine's just jumping up and down. Hopefully that means we can really pick up some speed here. I'm not quite sure how this one's gonna work. Immediately I'm getting pushed around by the competition, so no item for me, and straight into a banana is not so good, but it's okay. Slow start, but maybe fast ending, you know? I get the superstar, but <laughs> immediately pelted by items, so don't get the use straight away. I need to get up this way, and then as soon as I can, I need to, boom, do that. I got so much speed going on here that I might end up get, getting sent the wrong direction. I almost did, that was scary. How did I manage to hit that? I don't know. <laughs> wow, that really, was that one of the lightning knocks at all the pokies? Come on, got it. What do I get here? I get a bob on. Not the best fifth place item I could have hoped for. Okay, well I, I sort of got past that sh shortcut a little bit. Not really what I was looking for, but that's how it's all sort of getting put together. I keep missing items. Very unfortunate. All right, go, go, go. Drift through here, guess what I missed? Another item. We gotta move it. Oh no. I don't know how that happens every time I'm about to hit an item, but it does. Okay, big drift there. That was really good. Another mushroom here, whoa! That was awesome. Just don't fall off the side now. Very cool. So. I wanna get a good drift here. That's not a good drift in the slightest. I'm pretty sure that's not the direction I held, so I'm very confused, but it is what it is. We're heading into the last lap here. Maybe not in the best position, but we'll put some bananas down. We can maybe make something out of this. This track feels so much different in mirror mode. I don't know what it is. Just sometimes your muscle memory gets sort of shocked in a weird way, and it just, it's like, where am I? All right, so all I need to do here is big crazy jump. Maybe I'll hit this one too. Put down the fake question block. What is that? Come on. I can get another mushroom here to skip over all this. That was really great. That's gonna keep me in the lead. There's so many bananas over here. There we go, there we go. That's the kind of drift I was looking for before. Maybe enough to get me a win, it is. All right, great job, baby. Daisy, we're able to beat up both Lu well, Luigi, Bowser, and everybody else for 15 points. But that's only the first track of four. We got three more left to go. Let's keep it moving. And now it's Moonview Highway. This is another tough track, what do you know? All the signs are backwards. Okay, we get the star in the very front this time. Maybe it'll help me get some items a little bit faster. We'll have to wait and see. Because this track is flipped, which cars are actually driving um, on the side of the road that I'm a little more used to. So that's at least good. 
Okay. Whoa, that was a little scary. We are actually starting off in the lead pretty well. I keep boosting through all of these. There we go, into the tunnel now. I missed that one, but it's okay. I just keep boosting like nobody's business. Ow, two of my red shells on the floor. So, I'll do this. Just trying to avoid the cars where I can, but the blue shell coming in and send me flying. They are definitely catching up, yep, by a lot. Gotta be careful. Especially around this corner, ow. Oh, super squished. Not what I wanted. We're back up. We're gonna hold this and then place it down. And now we really gotta start boosting through all this stuff. Grab that item. Got another fake item block. Not really what I'm after. Oh no, watch out for the bomb bomb, come on, no! It just dodges from lane to lane ever so fast. We're back in the second now. This we're, ah, my own red shell too, come on. Ah, uh, <laughs> for the last lap, we're gonna be starting it in sixth place. This is not gonna be easy. We get a blooper, which is not the most advantageous item for catching up. I thought that I would go into the item there. I guess not, but hey, it's helping us get the lead. So maybe not so bad after all. Okay, got a banana here that I definitely just want to hold out for my own protection. Grab that item, never mind. Never mind, I didn't say anything. How am I missing all this stuff? Go through here, grab that one. Okay, here we go. Come on, just a little bit more. Throw this backwards and we win. Oh man, that was definitely a scary one, but that means we are halfway through this cup. Doing pretty darn well. Two wins. Let's get another two right now. And with this one, it's Bowser's Castle. Pretty intense track, but I feel like this is one of the ones we struggle with the most. So it's usually the one I pay a lot of attention to. So maybe I can make some good moves this time, or maybe it'll all fall apart just like it normally does. We'll have to wait and see. Decent start though, for sure. I always love that this course sort of has like a retro tune to it at the beginning. Out of a, like a lot of the tracks, I feel like this is more of a thing in Mario Kart 8, but this game also has a couple tracks, this one included, that sort of feel like an amusement park ride. Just something about it, it's just, it feels like that. But also, it's a, it's a race course and with the whole racing thing, I'm not doing a super good job. We're already back in the seventh, but I can go down here and hit the wall, get a bob bomb, then I'll just immediately throw behind me, and then try to get an item, they get them all. Ow, was starting to catch up a little bit and just get mowed over by a bullet bill. Dude, this one sort of feels like an amusement park ride. The Koopa Cape level does too, that we raced earlier. Oh no, please don't fall. I almost fell into the lava. That would not have been good. Getting a singular red shell in eighth place feels like it shouldn't be allowed. Okay, but we're catching up a little bit. If I can get a slipstream boost off of one of you guys, it'd be great. Doesn't seem like it's happening. I'm not getting the best of items right now. Ah, oh, I hit that pillar. Oh no, oh no, come on, hit somebody else, please. <laughs> Jeez, this is a rough lap so far. But I still have a chance to catch up, especially with the triple mushroom here. I'm just going to boost through as much as possible and then get no item here because there's always a crowd in front of me to deny me it. Come on. Still just back in seventh. We're sort of running into that Mario Kart crowd issue where everybody's using items on each other so nobody actually gets ahead at all. With a couple of good turns, I can sort of catch up. Get a fake question block, which doesn't really protect me from much hazards. I get one trick off of that and we're heading into the final lap. Come on. This is where I really gotta figure things out. Get ahead one way or another.
Oh, hit the wall, come on. I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of this cart so far. I just feel like I'm not ever really making the moves I need to. I'm constantly hitting walls, I'm making weird turns, but I'm trying it, you know? We're back in the sixth. If I can just get an item, I'd be so happy if we could just get an item. And somehow I miss every single item. I don't know if that's just me not maneuvering well because of this cart, or if it's just bad luck, or what, but come on. We're getting to that point where it's either we make this happen or we don't. I get the golden mushroom to zoom through a lot of this. The blue shell turning out not so good for some of them, but great for me. Okay, that was actually huge. Getting a really big lead out of that, making the most out of that item. Come on, come on, come on. Right through here, we bounce through all that. I try to avoid the lava and we get the very unexpected win. It was so lucky that I could get through that around the blue shell explosion without getting hit by anything. So I'm gonna chalk that one up to a lot of luck for sure. But 45 points ain't so bad. Let's move to the next one. So Rainbow Road, of course, takes the cake for the hardest level. Everything else was just, you know, preparation for this moment. So let's see how it goes. All right. And we're off. The final race of this cup. Oh, somebody went flying off to the side there. I saw them. Oh no, oh no. Gotta be careful, gotta be real careful. Ah! I'd rather slow down than fall off. That is for sure. I gotta get used to the fact that it is mirror mode. Everything's flipped. And this is a track that I've spent like so much effort trying to memorize because of how difficult it is. But that just seems like a nightmare. Uh oh, uh oh, see like this part. These turns are such a delicate situation half the time that I just don't know how to feel about the fact that it's all the other way around now. Boom, gonna boost through that. Do a big trick. Get back to it, all right. Oh. That was pretty good, but we're still in second. The pal block hitting while we're in the air is so fortunate, but it also worked out that way for baby Mario in front of us! No! You're kidding me. We're still in second, that's not so bad. But baby Mario building up a bit of a lead down there, isn't he? Oh, he might have fallen off actually. Something happened there, we caught up to you a little bit. Maybe hidden item. Ooh, why drifting there? It's a little bit scary, but can make a big trick jump off of that, and then definitely use this to speed up the catch up a little bit to baby Mario. It's gonna follow you here for a second as the pow block comes back in. How was that even a thing that just happened? I, I, not gonna question it. Just gonna keep going. Oh man, oh man. Watch out, Luigi. Now's not the time. Boosting through, I just narrowly avoided the lightning strike. Luigi did too, but I don't think baby Mario was as lucky. So I think we can both catch up to him here. Looks like it. Okay, drift through here, just like that. Oh, okay, good stuff. I'm gonna land right here and miss those mushrooms on the floor, unfortunately. But baby Mario is still fighting for a lead here. He hits the wall. It's time for the last lap. Okay. Get these little star boosts. And then, I don't think I wanna try drifting too much here. Baby Mario might take the lead for now, but I'd rather him take the lead for a moment than me fall off trying to take it or keep it. Here we go again. Drift through here. He went wide to get an item or two. Which is maybe where I can just take advantage and throw that bob on. That might actually hit him, it does! Here's our chance to really get ahead. Come on, no, no! As soon as I think that, guess what happens? The game humbles me. Let's get back out this way. And then as soon as I can just drift over. The drifting isn't about the boosts at this point, it's about the maneuvering. Uh, not gonna get so lucky with the, the power block this time, but baby Mario does, and the red shell too, just to 
add some extra spice in there. Unfortunately, I think that means he's gonna get away with it. So not a full set of wins, but three wins and one second place finish certainly isn't bad given the context. I think it'll be enough for us to get one gold star. I'd be really surprised if it isn't, so let's go for it. Let's check out the victory ceremony. So another set of four really intense races. Things just do not ever let up at this point. Luigi and baby Mario, every step of the way, we're trying to steal my victories. But I don't think it happened for them in the end. We get this first place finish with baby Daisy, which is fantastic. All right, so that means we have, of course, finished all of the mirror mode cups in the main uh, difficulty or the main types of tracks. Now we have the retro ones coming up, but here we go, Baby Daisy at the top of the podium. Give me that gold trophy. Right there, we got first place in the special cup and along with it, no! We got first place three times in a row and second place, to, it's, how is that an A-rank? What are you talking about? We did fine. You won the special cup in mirror mode. Congratulations, you've unlocked a large bike, the Phantom. That's great. And we might lock more, I guess not. I just, I cannot believe that wasn't at least one star. I know it's more about the performance and the turnout, but I did what I could. If you throw me a thousand items, I can only do so much. Well, here I go again. So after an additional attempt, was I able to make it? Yes, I was. This one was also three firsts and a second, but maybe I just spent more time in first place or something. I'm not quite sure. Either way, even though, though we got that star, it doesn't look like we have anything else we have to do. If we take a look, I'm pretty sure I have all the stars there. Um, it didn't unlock anything extra for us, but you know, it was just worth checking. Takes so long to get over here. Um, no, no, you can see star, star, star. So we just have the retro cups to deal with now, and then we'll be all done with all of the Grand Prix. So we're really starting to get there. It's been great so far, but there's still a little bit more left to go here in Mario Kart Wii. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.